tried telling myself I wouldn't be reviewing any more skates because it's getting out of hand but curiosity got the better of me and I just skated the razors razor shifts let's talk about what comes on the shifts these are the camo edition uh, they came out just before the Jeff Howard Pro model. Um, pretty much the same setup, um, but just a different color and different wheels. That's pretty much it. You've noticed here, I've actually swapped out the liner. Um, this is an old rain liner that uh, came with my Derek Henderson's and the shifts actually come with the V3 camo rain liner. Um, so it's essentially the same liner, just different color. Um, I've got more liners than skates at the moment, so I'm gonna try and sell out the camo liners. Um, yeah, and just use these, cause it's the same thing. Anyway, so the shifts are a boot that they made after the SLs I think but don't quote me on that new soles it's a one one piece sole plate um, once you take out the screws you can actually push these buttons in to quickly swap them out and chuck on well basically another big like if you had a big wheel set up or something on another sole and just click them in um, that's what they're quite well known for for this boot but anyway what's pretty cool is they come with a flat setup with their ground control what was it flat 4 FLT4 frame which is the latest frame they came out with you know, a couple of years ago I think maybe a year, year and a half ago I don't know time fly time, time flies man it's almost Christmas anyway um which i personally have not skated until now um and i've wanted to but there's certain reasons why i haven't it has a bit of wheel bite protection um as well as if you actually take uh, uh if you actually take this frame off you can replace this grind block here this h block you can replace that once that wears out there's just a couple of screws on the other side that really holds them in. Uh, 60 millimeter ground control wheels uh, that are like a yeah, bullet shape, which works really well. And yeah, whatever, what did they come with? ABIC 5 bearings or something? Yeah. Yeah, most of the time when it comes to buying skates, rocking things stock usually sucks. But I was pleasantly surprised uh, with how fast these Say. Anyway, yes, yes. 
Uh, so usually, anything stock on skates, uh, especially bearings and, and wheels, are usually pretty shit. But, like I said, to my surprise, rolling around on these today uh, was actually surprisingly really fast. Just like, yeah, just like I'd bought any other kind of like new bearings. And I forgot at how fast razors grind just with the plastic they use so at the start i waxed up a ledge and i was flying i, f I flew i flew and uh, yeah it was i shouldn't have done that uh moved over to a different ledge didn't touch it with any wax and i was still sliding as if i had waxed it and was skating it with my other skates Let's talk about the boot, I guess. The boot is, well, it seems like it's an amalgamation of the Razer Colt and the Razer SL. So it's kind of narrow and snug like the Colt, but has the benefits of the SL boot with that shock protection or that heel pad that they have in there, which I really dig. So. This is the best of both worlds. Groove is awesome. Comes up with the V-cuffs already in there. Metal buckles, not the plastic ones. Yeah, uh, waxed laces. Waxed laces, you know? Not only that, also notice they have this kind of like different lacing system here. Uh, if you can see, yeah. These two extra holes here which is perfect for doing that heel lock lacing system which is really awesome um a well thought out skate to be honest they skate well yeah that's the thing it's razors man like the skates just skate well they just they're made to do their thing Okay, so back to the frames, back to the frames. It's got this wheel bite protection, which makes them really, really nice to skate. Uh, it's got a decent groove, not too small, not too big. Yeah. Now, I like I said before, I have wanted to skate these in the past, especially when they first came out. But on yeah, after seeing other people's reviews on these frames, I decided not to. Mainly for the fact is that when you put them on other skates, this is very shallow. It's quite high, quite you know, wide. Now why they work for razor skates is because of the sole plates here how they are kind of cut out and they've got this like a recess so technically these are closer to your feet making them more responsive not only that it gives you that I don't know just a little bit less of a little yeah a little bit less width as if you would put a little less width when you have them on the razors compared to having them on other skates 
because if you had them on other skates you would have an extra I don't know five six millimeters of that being higher up and by doing that when you grind say Roy L's to get boot down you definitely have to bone over more really tweak those uh, knees and those ankles which is all good if you can and you're flexible enough but for someone like me and and, and others uh, that are not as young as we once were um, yeah nah I'm cool thanks no 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 I like to have it to be a quite a nice 45 degree ish angle to get boot down I want to have a fun time and not try too hard if you know what I mean uh, so yeah first session they skated well man they skated well the raises I'm like I didn't expect anything less Soul space, decent, it's got a nice sole, it's not too big, not too wide, but then also not too narrow, so it's a, it's a good compromise. Negatives, uh, yeah, they're pretty minimal, but you don't really need that much of a negative space, just get on top of that grind properly and it should be sweet. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't really have anything bad to say about these skates. I don't know. My feet are quite wide, but yet they f they fit in these pretty well. Oh, one thing I did notice is the plastic in these shells seem to be really thick. Or maybe I'm just tripping out. Nah, they seem pretty thick, man. They seem thicker than other skates. Yeah. Um, also, I found them quite light. Even though I don't feel like on my feet, man, I was, yeah, over jumping and overshooting the grinds and because they felt light. I should say they are a bit more than what you'd pay for your SLs and your Colts. But, but, I think it's worth it, definitely. Especially if you're after a flat setup right off the bat just because by the time you buy any other boot that's an anti-rocker setup by the time you get new frames and extra wheels um you're going to be paying that price anyway not only that with these they actually come with the v3 rain liners which are perfect for razor skates not only that that's basically the same company under the same umbrella um the wheels are good well, I've only had one session, so uh, yeah, I can't really say actually. But rolling around on them with the bearings that they come with, like I was, I was honing it, man. It was yeah. Um, also noticed power transfer. Pretty decent. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty decent, man. Um, yeah, I got nothing to complain about. <laughs> Those are my thoughts, those are my first impressions, and uh, hmm? I will eventually get back around to scanning these to really, really test them out, but at the moment, uh, yeah, I don't, I honestly, I wouldn't change anything over, I think they're good to go, yeah, anyway, cheers, thanks, and uh, stay rad. Be kind to one another. And yeah, until next time. Peace.